Okay, hello air signs. I mean, oops, hello earth signs. Earth signs, I just did air signs. How you guys doing? Taurus, Virgos, and Capricorns, how you doing? I hope everybody's doing well. Okay, we're going to see what messages that you need to hear. What or who's coming towards you as well. You guys, subscribe, like, share my video. Welcome new viewers. Subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Thank you for um, checking my channel out. Sit back and enjoy the read. Hit the notification button, you guys, to know when I'm going to post a video. Hit the join button to become a member of my channel. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you much. All right. So let's get into this. We're going to start with Taurus. Taurus energy. Taurus. Taurus energy. Who's coming towards Taurus? Who's coming towards Taurus? What messages do you have for Taurus, Holy Spirit? What messages do you have for Taurus, Holy Spirit? I mean, as I do this reading, bless the reading. Who's coming towards Taurus? What messages do you have for Taurus? Wow. Who's coming towards Taurus? What messages do you have towards for Taurus to hear? What messages do you have for Taurus to hear? And who's coming towards Taurus? Okay, there we go. What messages do you have for Taurus to hear? And who's coming towards Taurus? What messages do you have for Taurus to hear? And who's coming towards Taurus? Messages. Oh, that one's stuck. Somebody's stuck. <laughs> Somebody's stuck in the situation. Oh, Lord. Okay, I'll keep that. That fell out. Okay, the Eight of Cups. You guys have. The Seven of Swords, you guys have. The Four of Swords. The Seven of Cups and the Hermit, Taurus. Okay, somebody's walking away. Oh, yeah. Somebody's walking away from a situation. Eight of Cups, clarify. Clarify this Eight of Cups and Taurus's energy. Or you may need to walk away from a situation, Taurus. Clarify the Eight of Cups and Taurus's energy. So we're going to see. Queen of Wands. So somebody you have stability with is walking away. Queen of Wands, a Taurus, somebody dealing with a um, fire sign. This is usually a Leo. Some people say it's a Taurus, but I call it a Leo card. Yeah, they're betraying you. So you may not know this person's planning to walk away. Ten of Swords. There's a um, Taurus that needs to walk away from a situation because the person you have stability with has a mistress. They're backstabbing you. Water sign. Ace of Cups. Yep, they feel like this person is their fulfillment. That's why they're walking away. Well, you're needing to walk away from the situation. But I'm it's it's they're walking away from you. But since you're finding this out, you need to walk away. You can go either way. Yep. They have a mistress. This person is their fulfillment. Ace of Cups. They want a new beginning with this person. Alright, so moving on. Seven of Swords. 
Okay. Seven of Swords. Look like he's stuck. <laughs> Clarify the Seven of Swords. He's tugging. Somebody's tugging. Clarify this seven of swords. King of Cups. Somebody's coming in to offer love. Sitting on it. Trying to get some insight on whether they should or not. Ace of Coins. Yeah, they want a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. They want to offer you a new beginning of stability, love. Oh no, some emotion. But this person, they're willing to give you um, money. They're willing to pay for it. Clarify the Ace of Coins. Clarify the Ace of Coins. So, whoa. They're willing to pay for it. Um, page of coins. Oh, new beginning as well. But they want to take care of you. This person wants a new beginning. This person's offering to take care of you and have a new beginning of growth with you. Um, nine of spears. This person's been through a mental and physical struggle. All right. This person's been through a mental and physical struggle. Oh, yeah, this person's trying to, yeah. So they're doing this behind somebody back. They're trying to get away with, they're deceiving somebody. They're not being truthful. So somebody, whoever's dealing with a Taurus, this person's not being truthful about something. They're trying to get away with something. And in the meantime, they're offering you emotions in a new beginning. A new beginning of growth. There's two cards on here. This person may give you money. Yeah, this person is going through a mental and um, physical struggle. They're not being truthful about something. Okay? So you need to find out before you move forward with this person. What they're not. Oh, they're married. This person's married. So there's a torch dealing with someone that's not telling them that they're married. A earth and water sign person. They have earth and water in their chart. Cancer person. They may be very independent. They're older than you. This person. They may be older than you. They're in their mid 40s, late 30s, maybe mid 40s. Could be retired, an owner, entrepreneur. <clears throat> so they're not being truthful about something you need to find out what that is before you continue to deal with this person they're married okay the four swords Okay, somebody may be um, finding out that somebody's ill or there's somebody meditating on a Taurus. A Taurus, Taurus, you may be finding out somebody's ill or either they could be meditating on you, praying for you. Or somebody just needs to rest. You could need to rest, Taurus. 
clarify the um four swords and Taurus's energy. Clarify the four swords and Taurus's energy. Or this is you finding out you're ill. Somebody could be depressed. Clarify the four swords. What's this four swords? Four Swords. Page of Cups. Yeah, you're going to find out that somebody's ill. You're going to get a message, a phone call, or something. You're going to get some kind of news that somebody's not well. Or it, this could be you. You get a phone call from your doctor's office and clarify the page of cups and this may be a family member because the page of cups is a family member clarify the page of cups a page of spears yeah announcement Something is premature. So maybe the news that you hear, maybe somebody was told they were ill, but you're going to find out that they're not. They rushed a judgment, a premature judgment, and if they're not ill, are you going to hear that you're not ill? Somebody rushed to a judgment, and it's Ace of Swords. You're going to move on to a new beginning. You're going to move forward in a success. So whatever you were told about somebody being ill, or you're going to hear that somebody's ill, it's not going to be so. It was premature. They jumped to judgment. The person is actually okay. You're going to, this person or you are going to move forward in a success. Okay? Beautiful. Wow. Or somebody could have had a miscarriage. The baby was premature. You're going to be okay. You're going to move forward in a success. Or if somebody had a premature birth, maybe. The baby's premature, but the baby's going to be okay. You're going to get an announcement that you're going to move forward in a success. Or premature birth, somebody's going to have something to that fact. Or somebody's going to find out that you'll either want something to that fact. All right. All right. And this could be a Pisces, a water sign. Let me get this announcement. Air sign, water sign. Fire sign. But everything's going to be okay. Don't worry. Ace of Swords is here. You're going to move forward in success. This person. They're going to they're gonna heal. Or it's not so. It was a premature rush to judgment. Okay. Um, moving on. Seven of Cups. Taurus. Somebody's um, feeding you illusions. Something's not what it seems. Or what they say it is. Or they're perpetrating to be something that they're not. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Clarify the Seven of Cups and Taurus's energy. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Okay. 
Five of Swords. Yeah, you're going to find out somebody's not who they said they were. And you're going to be upset. You're going to be disappointed. Clarify the Five of Swords. It's going to disappoint you. And this may be a water sign. Or air sign that you're going to find this out about. They're not who they say they are. Or something's not real. They're feeding you illusions. Clarify the five of swords. Clarify the five of swords and Taurus's energy. Clarify the five of swords. Clarify this five of swords. Is not coming out tonight. Yeah, I'm having a hard time jumping out. Okay, there it goes. Yeah. Ace of um, Ace of Spears, you are passionate about this person. This somebody you hold a lot of passion for. Ace Ace of Wands. You're gonna be very disappointed. The Knight of Coins. This person was planning, you were planning and strategizing on offering this person a, um, a pinnacle. Or they told you this. But it was taking them too, it was taking them a long time to offer this. And they took a long time to come in because something wasn't real. Queen of Swords, you need to cut this person off. Use your intuition. You may have air in your chart. You need to use your intuition. Concerning this person, do a lot of inner reflecting. If they do come in and offer you this, or they, it may be saying they're still going to try to offer you something after you find out something not real about them, some truths they didn't tell you, something they portrayed to be and wasn't. And they're going to still try to come in and offer you a um, pinnacle. You need to do a lot of inner reflecting on this before you accept this offer. It's going to take them a while to come in because they're going to let you get over this disappointment that you have. The moon card. Yeah, deception. Something's not what it appears to be. Use your intuition again, the moon card. Okay, um... Moving on. Clarify the hermit and Taurus's energy. Dang, y'all three went fast. Clarify the hermit. Somebody needs to um, isolate themselves. Allow their intuition to show, what, show you what you need to see. Knight of Swords. Something happened suddenly or something's about to take place quick, swift. You're not going to have time to prepare for it. You need to use your intuition. It may be concerning the Gemini. Five of coins. This is going to have you feeling whatever's um, taking place is going to have you feeling at a loss, out in the cold. You know, you're not going to know what to do. So you need to allow your intuition to guide you in this situation. Something just is going to take place all of a sudden. And you're going to need to let your intuition guide you, okay? In this situation, clarify the five of coins. Clarify the five of coins. Clarify the five of coins. Yeah, something's coming in all of a sudden on someone. It's a news or something's taking place. Clarify the five of coins. And Taurus's energy. Yeah, something's going to be dropped in your lap. It's going to be a load. Clarify the five of coins and Taurus's energy. Okay, there you go. The world. Yeah, it's going to cause the ending. But the good thing about this, you're going to move forward in a, in a new beginning. A new beginning of blessings. Okay. 
So just as long as you let your intuition guide you on how to move forward in this situation, you're going to be okay. Whatever it is, clarify the world. But you're going to have a new beginning. This is going to cause for you. This, this, Whatever takes place is to cause a new beginning to happen in your life. A blessing. You're going to have some blessings. Abundance. Growth. Clarify the world. Blessings. Clarify the world and towards his energy. Change. All right. Um, the Eight of Swords. Yeah. It may have you confused and feeling stuck for a minute, though. You may feel stuck and confused. Maybe of why it took place, but you're going to move forward out of this situation. I'm going to put another card on this. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Clarify the Eight of Swords. You're going to have a new beginning. You're going to feel confused and stuck on why this took place. The Empress. But you're going to move forward in abundance. Okay? You're going to move forward in abundance. Out of this stuck situation. You're going to have a new beginning. Everything's going to be okay. Whatever it is. Just hang in there. All right? All right, Taurus. That's all I have for you. So now we're going to move on to Virgos. Okay, Virgos. Virgos energy. What's this Virgo reading? I mean, I'm going to do this Virgo reading. Virgo. Mm, show me what messages you have for Virgos. Virgos energy on the cards. Virgos energy on the cards. What's coming towards Virgo? Show me what's coming towards Virgo. What messages does Virgo need to hear? Virgo's energy on the car. Virgo's energy on the car. Virgo's energy on the car. What messages do you have for Virgo? What's coming towards Virgo? What messages do you have for Virgo? Okay, one more card. How many cards is that? That's too many cards. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you have the King of Coins, the King of Swords, the Page of Cups, and the Page of Spears. Let me get one more card. Oh, it fell. In the nine of coins. Okay, so king of coins. The king of pentacles. Somebody is seeing is wanting stability with you, Virgo. Or somebody is seeing you stable, secure. They seeing you being independent. Or they want to offer you the stability. They want to take care of you. They want to do everything for you. They want to spoil you. Clarify this king of coins and Virgo's energy. So there's a Virgo that uh, Capricorn wants to spoil. Yes, the four, four spirits. They want marriage. This person wants stability with you. They want to marry you. Wow. They want to do everything for you. They want to take care of you. You won't have to lift a finger, my dear. Clarify the four of spheres in Virgo's energy. Clarify this four of spheres in Virgo's energy. The, um, the emperor. This person has Aries in their chart. This person is an emperor. Very independent. Probably an um, entrepreneur. They may be a bit bossy and controlling. They've been doing a lot of reflecting on you and um, about marrying you. Your future. You guys future together. Nine of Cups. This is gifted. This is a gift to you. This is a reward. This, this Capricorn, this is a reward for you. 
then gift it to you from the divine. Blessings from the divine. Clarify the um, nine of cups. Wow. This person has wishful thinking about you. They think about you a lot. You guys future together. Clarify the nine of cups. So anybody dealing with a Capricorn, they want marriage. They're going to come in and offer marriage. Queen of Swords. Yes, a lot of inner reflecting again. Or this is what you're going to do. Or you may, do, before you rush, make a rush decision when they come in and offer you this stability of marriage. Um, you may need to do some inner reflecting. Make sure this is what you want. Queen of Swords. But this is gifted to you. This is a reward to you. A blessing from the divine. This is what's coming towards you. Mm, I don't know why I'm here. I'm here in springtime. I'm here in springtime. This is supposed to take place. And this is somebody, you know what? You may be living with this person. You could have been living with this person already. You could already have stability with this person. But they're going to want it to go a, um, a step further. They want marriage. They want, they're ready to, for marriage. All right? If you're um, living with the person. If you already have stability with this person. All right. So it's either or. But I'm hearing springtime for somebody. Okay. Um, King of Swords. King of Swords. A Gemini. Somebody may be watching you, investigating you, looking at your social media, riding by your house, maybe stalking you. Or you may be needing to investigate the situation, look into something, do some research on someone. Clarify the King of Swords. Yeah, somebody wants to reunite with you. You need to do some research on this person before you uh, reunite with them. A Gemini. Clarify this three of swords. They may have water in their chart. Um, for um, Virgo. Hang on, Virgo. Clarify the three of cups. Water sign, Gemini water sign. You, or you, you know what? You may have Gemini in your chart, but you need to investigate. Whoever it is, you need to investigate this person. You see what's going on with them if they're single. Yep, the moon card. Use your intuition. This person may be deceiving you. The moon card. Something's not, it might be an illusion. With this person, it's something you're not, they're not telling you. Yep, Seven of Cups, illusions. So you need to use your, they're, they're being deceiving, deceptive about something. They're going to come in wanting to reunite with you. This person's wanting to reunite, but they're being deceptive. Clarify the Seven of Cups in Virgo's energy. Clarify the Seven of Cups and Virgo's energy. Queen of Cups. Yep. Pray about this. Get some insight on this person. Okay. Pray about it as well. Pray about it to your higher power and get some insight on this person. So that's for Virgo to hear. Okay. The Page of Cups. Oh, somebody's getting a message coming in to them. Some type of message is going to come in to you by phone, text, online, face to face. Some kind of communication is coming in. Clarify this page of cups. And this could be from a Pisces water sign. Clarify this page of cups. Clarify this page of cups. 
somebody could be what a family a child or you could be hearing that somebody's pregnant okay the will of fortune it's good news whatever you're gonna hear it's gonna make you happy blessings upon blessings Oh, and this is something you're going to be passionate about, a new beginning. This is about a new beginning, a blessing. So somebody may be finding out that they're having a child. Or Pisces wants a family with you, a child with you. Five of Spears, a new beginning, Five of Spears, fighting, you may have been fighting this person off, or you and this person may um, have argued a lot, had a lot of arguments with each other, but they're wanting a, they're wanting a new beginning with you, this person want, is wanting a new beginning, they're wanting a child, they're wanting a family, you're going to hear this Virgo, or they're pregnant, Maybe that's why they was arguing with you a lot because they were pregnant. The hormones were kicking in. You're going to hear something good, some good news. Somebody may be having a baby. Somebody dealing with a water sign of Pisces. All right, moving on. Page of Spears. An announcement is coming in. Clarify this page of Spears. Clarify this page of spears in Virgo's energy. Hmm, their back is turned. So you might get an announcement that somebody is walking away from a situation. This person may be younger than you. Five of Cups. Um, disappointment. You gotta get hear some disappointing news. Maybe somebody's walking away, turning their back on a situation. It's going to disappoint you or have you internally conflicted. Nine of Wands, yeah, somebody may come, a fire sign, Virgo. You're going to hear fire, fire signs walking away. They're moving out. If you live with them, they're moving out. This is going to be disappoint you. Seven of Swords. This person's deceiving you. They're moving somewhere. If you're living with them, they're either moving out from under you or they're moving somewhere at a distance. They've turned their back. You're going to feel like they turned their back on you. Yeah, they're deceiving you. Seven of Swords. So you're going to find out something from an air sign. And it may come out immaturely. It may say it to you immaturely, but it's going to disappoint you. All right. Okay. Maybe they were supposed to come visit you as well. Something. Somebody may be supposed to be in a visit from one, but they changed their mind. It deceived you. Maybe they really had no intentions to come visit you. Maybe you guys were supposed to go on a trip together, travel together, and they they deceived you. They turned their back on the situation. They went the other way. Or maybe they could be disappointed with you. It could be a fire sign. It could be the other way around, so switch it out. Resonate. This person could, you might find out that they're disappointed with you. They feel like you turned your back on them. Maybe you were supposed to travel with somewhere with them. And there was a change of plans and they're feeling like you deceived them. Okay. They may have sat their um, Sagittarius. This is a Sagittarius. All right. Moving on. Clarify the um, nine of coins. Mm -hmm. Wow.
Clarify the nine of coins in Virgo's energy. Clarify the nine of coins in Virgo's energy. Clarify this nine of coins. Somebody sees, um, I'm sorry, somebody sees a Virgo. This is you, Virgo. Nine of coins. Somebody sees you as abundant. Standing in your, um, your truth. Glowing. Doing, doing your own thing. Standing in your own ground. You know, handling your business. Being independent. Strong. Beautiful at the same time. This person has fallen in love with you. Seeing you stand in your abundance. In your independence. Doing your own thing. Handling things on your own. They fell in love with you. They, this person is seeing you as their soulmate. They're equal. Knight of Swords. Wow. They want... <laughs> You're going to hear something quick all of a sudden from this person. This was something that took place quick. They fell in love with you quick. This person fell for you very quick. Wow. Clarify the um, not the swords. Gemini. Two of spears. This person is at a distance. They're moving to where you are. Wow. They want stability with you. Look. This person's at a distance. They may have made a choice over... Um, they made a choice between you and someone else. And they're looking over towards you. They're seeing how they could get to you. They're making a decision to come your way. This person fell in love with you. A Gemini. Can go, Virgo. Beautiful. Gemini. In fire. Sagely or Aries. Or they may have turned their back on a um, fire sign for you. Okay. So that's all I have for Virgos. Those are your messages, you guys. All right. I hope I can help somebody. I hope you got some insight on some things you needed to hear and see. All right. Now moving on to Capricorns, Capricorns energy, Capricorns energy, Capricorns energy on the cards, Capricorns energy on the cards. Capricorn's energy on the cards. Holy Spirit. Tell me what messages you have for Capricorns. Tell me what's coming towards Capricorns. What's coming towards Capricorns? Messages for Capricorns on the cards. What's coming towards Capricorns on the cards. Messages for Capricorns on the cards. What's coming towards Capricorns on the cards? Ooh. Capricorns a hot mess. Ooh, somebody may be nervous. Capricorns energy on the cards. Somebody may be nervous about a situation. Ooh, goodness. 
Capricorns, energy on the card. Capricorns, are you nervous? Or somebody in your energy you dealing with is? Capricorns, energy. Or something may take place to have you in a nervous state. Hmm. Something new? Something borrowed? Something used? <laughs> All right. Okay, so Capricorn energy. What messages do you have for Capricorn? What messages do you have for Capricorn? What's coming towards Capricorn? What's coming towards Capricorn? Oh, Lord. Somebody flippy floppy. Somebody's flippy floppy. Somebody seeing somebody is flippy floppy. What messages is coming towards Capricorn? Ooh, they jumped out. Oh my goodness. Okay. That's it right there. Ooh. Four of Cups. The World. Seven of Swords. The Page of Swords. And the Three of Coins. All right, so we're going to start with the Four of Cups. Somebody's coming in with an offer, Capricorn. Okay, somebody's offering something and somebody's hesitant. Somebody's coming in to offer a Capricorn a cup, but they're hesitant. Um, or this is you offering a cup to somebody, but they're hesitant to set the cup or somebody's coming in to you. And you may need to, um, don't, don't rush. Take your time accepting this offer. The four of cups. Take your time. You're needing. All right. This person coming in want marriage. This person is offering you this cup. They want marriage. Don't rush into it. Take your time. Clarify the four of spears. And this is a fire sign. Or this is somebody you may... Um, be married to or somebody that wants to reunite with you they're coming in to offer you a cup a fire sign the full card sadly or aries this person is one coming in with another chance so they're coming in to offer you a cup they want to reunite and this is usually the aries full card is the aries clarify the full card the king of coins. Yeah, they're coming in um, wanting stability. They may be offering you a cup because they want stability. They're looking at your stability. Four swords. Oh, Lord. Hmm. This person is meditating, praying that you accept this cup. This person is praying that you accept the cup for a sword. Mm -hmm. Or this person may be depressed without you. Because they want another chance. A fire sign. It don't have to be an Aries, but it's a fire sign. That's Leo or Aries. But the uh, full card is usually an Aries. They want another chance. They could have it in their chart. Air. They have air in their chart too. Wow. Okay. So moving on. That's what you needed to hear. A Capricorn out there. Hmm. The world. Somebody's... Going through an ending and going into a blessed new beginning. A beginning of blessings. They're going through a change. Something, a cycle is ending in somebody's life. And they're wanting a new beginning with you. Clarify the world. They're feeling like you're their blessing. Clarify the world. 
a magician, this person manifested you or they're manifesting you. A, a, a fire sign, magician. They're manifesting you. This person may be throwing love spells out there to get you, to get you in their life, to get this new beginning with you. Clarify the magician. Clarify the magician. Clarify the magician and Capricorn's energy. Wow. Clarify the magician and Capricorn's energy. Clarify the magician. Okay, there we go. The three cards fell out. The emperor, a fire sign. Aries. Wow, this person may be controlling and bossy, so be careful if you know you don't want anybody just controlling and bossy. Um, don't accept it. But they feel like you're their blessing. All right? And they've been doing a lot of inner reflecting on you. Manifesting you. This person wants marriage. Something long term. This person is a traditional type person. The devil, they may have some type of um, addiction. This person may come with some toxicity. So be careful. Or they could be attached to somebody else. Or somebody, they could be attached to somebody that is um, obsessed with them. Addictive. Somebody may be dangerous. They may be attached to somebody that's dangerous. They may not be. But they could be attached to somebody. Else. This person may be just obsessed with you. Okay? Getting this marriage long-term thing with you. Take your time. Don't rush into nothing. All right? Use your intuition with this person. Mm. It might be saying you need to do some inner reflecting. You could have some Aries in your chart. You could be the emperor. Okay? Or they could see you as the emperor. This person may see you as emperor. Okay, they see you being um, having your own business. You may have your own business. They're looking at all that. Mm -hmm. And they want something long term with you. They see you being an emperor, a boss. All right, this person's obsessed over you. They may have some type of addictions. And this is you, the Capricorn card. So they could have Capricorn in their chart as well. All right. This person could be attached to somebody that is, is crazy. So be careful. Seven of Swords. Somebody's deceiving a um, Capricorn. Somebody's deceiving you. Somebody's not being truthful about something. Clarify the Seven of Swords and Capricorn's energy. Clarify the Seven of Swords and Capricorn's energy. Clarify the Seven of Swords and Capricorn's energy. Okay. Okay, the Seven of Wands. You may need to fight this person off or keep your guard up with this person because they're not telling you something. They're not they're not telling you something. Clarify the seven of spears. So keep your guard up with this person until you find out what, what they're not being truthful about. Clarify the seven of spears and Capricorn's energy. They're trying to get away with something. Could be stealing, thieving. Clarify the seven of swords. <sighs> Clarify the seven of swords. Yeah. The queen of pentacles. Keep your guard up with this person. This person is, they have stability somewhere else. They have stability with somebody else. Or they may not be as stable as they appear to be. This person may not be stable financially wise as they appear to be. Don't rush into nothing. Seven of coins. 
You need to contemplate on this. Sit on it until you find out if this person is stable enough for you. And you may have to be taking care of them, paying their bills. Okay? Clarify. Yep, that's what it's showing you, Capricorn. Capricorn out there needs to hear that. Mm -hmm. Clarify the seven of coins. I'm going to put one more card on this. Yeah, they see you as their fulfillment. They see you as their stability. They, If they have you, they feel that they're going to have everything. Whoever this person is. At Ace of Cups. If they, they see you as their fulfillment, their stability, their new beginning. So take your time and we'll, don't rush these with this person. Clarify the page of swords. Clarify the page of swords with Cap with um and Capricorn's energy. Oh Lord, somebody wants to oh, Lord, page of swords. Somebody wants to move fast in the situation. You need to you need to look into it before you um you need to look into this person. You may be dealing with a Gemini. They they're trying to move very fast. They want to move fast. Investigate. Look into this person before you move forward with them quick. Don't rush. Oh my goodness. This whole reading. Clarify the page of swords and Capricorn's energy. Use your you guys need to use your intuition, the sun card. Yeah. Because you want to be happy, investigate. Because you don't want your happiness to be ruined. This person may be looking at your abundance. Sun card. They may be looking at a, your being abundant. They're trying to move fast. Clarify the sun card. They see you as abundant. They're trying to move fast so they can um, have a piece of the pie, maybe. Clarify the sun card. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Um, two of spirits. This person may have chose you over someone else. There you go. A wand, a fire sign. They may have chose you over a fire sign. Clarify the two of spirits and Capricorn's energy. The tower, yeah, they went through a tower moment um, with a, a, a fire sign. Heck, they could have caused the tower moment with the fire sign just so they could be with you because they seen you as more abundant. They seen you putting abundance in their life. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower. This person's moving too fast. Clarify the tower and Capricorn's energy. Oh, wow. Clarify the tower and Capricorn's energy. Oh, yeah. They want to move to, so they can move to better waters with you. <sighs> or the person that they was dealing with caused the tower moment with them, chose someone else over them and caused the tower moment so they can move to better waters with somebody else. So it can go either way. But don't rush. Don't rush, whoever this is. Okay? Three of coins. Three of pentacles. Clarify this three of pentacles. Mm. Clarify this three of pentacles. Somebody's um, stuck in a cycle. Wants to build with you. Somebody wants to work hard at building with you. Stability. Two of swords. Don't make a hasty decision. Don't rush into nothing. This whole reading. Two of swords. Think about it before. Use your intuition. Be patient on making a decision. Be patient. Ace of coins. Before you start a new beginning with this person, be patient. There's no, there's no reason to rush. Take your time. Clarify the ace of coins. Clarify the ace of coins. 
Clarify the Ace of Coins and Capricorn's energy. I'm hearing somebody don't want to be lonely. Don't let lonely mess you up and rush into something. The moon card, use your intuition. There may be something deceptive about this um, person, some, some illusions, something you're not seeing about this person you need to see. Do not rush it. Take your time getting in a committed situation with this person. Somebody dealing with a water sign. Page of coins. Before you start a new beginning of growth with this person, with this water sign, they may be wanting to get in it to, for stability. They may want the new beginning of growth for stability purpose purposes. This is somebody dealing with a water sign. Take your time. Use your intuition. Something is an illusion. Something is deceptive in this situation. Okay? Right? Be careful, Capricorns. Oh, my goodness. It's all over this reading. You guys, it's the end of your reading. Please, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you get some insight on some things. I hope I can help you guys. Please subscribe, like, share. Hit the notification button. Um, when you want to be notified when I post a video, hit the join button and become a member. You guys, I love you guys. Have a blessed week ahead. Again, listen, use your intuition, you guys. This whole reading is use your intuition. Do not rush. Take your time. Take your time. All right. Love you guys.